How is everyone doing tonight? I'm so excited you're here. Anybody here for the very first time painting? Oh, wow, we have a lot. Welcome. My name is Miss Cammie, and I will be instructing this fun class. Are we excited about this giraffe? It's pretty cute, huh? I'm a little obsessed. I've been smiling at this giraffe since I painted him or her, whatever it is to you, okay? So this is what we're gonna paint together tonight. And it's really simple if you're here for the first time, you just follow me, okay? So if you're ever confused at what step we're on or anything, you can look at the TVs, but also listen because I'll give you tips as we go, okay? Um, I have helpers on the floor to help with paint, drips, any problems you have, raise your hand. These girls can help you solve those problems, okay? And it's a lot easier for them to go get you paint than it is for you to kind of maneuver over there, okay? So if you need anything, just raise your hand and they'll come. It might take them a minute, but they'll get to you, I promise, okay? I'm gonna wave hi to our people at home that are live painting with us. This is a live class. So there's some people at home painting, so that's awesome. Um, and we're gonna dive right in. Are you guys ready? Yeah. Okay, remember our giraffes are gonna look different. No tears, okay? We're all gonna have a different result and that's because we're different. So it's naturally gonna happen and thank goodness the world would be boring if we all had the same giraffes, okay? You have the paint on your plate for this result. If we're painting along and you wanna switch something up, that's something you just raise your hand and my helpers will help you, okay? Do you have a question for me, girl? What's up? <laughs> um, no one's died from eating it, but I wouldn't suggest it. Personally, uh, we've had small artists eat it, drink the water, and they're still alive, but I don't think they enjoyed it, so <laughs> so I would I would just paint with it, you know. It looks good, especially when you're hungry, but yeah, just just let that be. Okay, so you've got a big flat brush at your station. This is what we're gonna start with. You have two jars of water at your station as well. Um, one is to wash your brush, one is to dilute your paint with, okay? That means water down your paint. You got that, girl? Okay, because your paint gets thirsty. This is acrylic paint. It was made to need water. So when you squeeze it out of the bottle, it's not ready to be painted with. It has to have water. So keep that in mind when you're painting along and it feels sticky like glue, you need to give it a drink, okay? Give it a drink with your clean water so you don't mud it, okay? Makes sense? So let's swish our brush around in um, a jar of our choice, okay? And we are gonna start with our fabulous giraffe, okay? So you've got this nice yellow on your plate, okay? Now, I want to lighten that quite a bit. I don't like how strong that is. So I'm gonna get some, I'm gonna take it to a pile of white and I'm gonna start mixing it. I'm gonna start with a little bit of yellow and then add as needed, okay? Notice you have three piles of white, just start with one, okay? And like that's a little too light for me, so I'll add another scoop. Just keep in mind that your paint will dry a shade or two darker on your canvas than what it looks like on your plate, okay? I'm always surprised when I take my paint to my canvas at how um, much darker it is, okay? And a tip, the TV pulls yellow really strong. So you'll probably be like, whoa, her yellow is crazy bright. It's not, it's just the TV, okay? So as soon as you have a color that you're happy with, we're gonna paint our whole giraffe. Um, I'm gonna suggest that you just go over the spots, okay? You'll still be able to see the pencil mark if you don't glob the paint on a ton, okay? You'll still be able to see those and it's gonna save you time if you don't have to go around each one. So you can see, I can still see the line, okay? So I'm just gonna go ahead and fill in my giraffe. Melted ice cream, you've been here before. I, I, I was a solid week on that comparison until the kids started eating it. <laughs> and then I was like, okay, not melted ice cream, not melted ice cream. So you can see that my lines are still coming through and yours should 
as well, okay? If you're paranoid about that, or maybe you brush over it and you think, oh, I can't see my lines, go ahead and paint around the lines if you want to, but it might just take you a hot minute to get that giraffe filled in, okay? So the only um, section I'm gonna avoid is my eye. I don't want to paint my eye yellow, okay? Now we like to wrap our canvas here. That basically means wherever, whenever our paint hits the edge of our canvas, we wrap it around. That way it's a nice completed canvas. We could take it home. We can put it over the fireplace, you know, on the mantle for all of our neighbors to see or in our room on the shelf. So we like to wrap our canvases, okay? And that is a personal choice, of course. If you would rather not, I will not hold that against you. And we're going to go all the way down to those lips. My favorite part of the giraffe, personally. So um, a few things while we're filling this in, just to help you have the best experience ever. Some of you are going to fall behind. Some of you are going to be way ahead of me. There's no wrong or right speed to creating, okay? And that's another reason my helpers are on the floor. If you feel like you're way behind, they can help you catch up or they can tell you the next step if you've missed it, that sort of thing. The other thing to keep in mind is this painting will never be perfect in your mind, okay? So we have a 60% rule. Once you're 60% satisfied, move on to the next step. We're not going for 100, guys, okay? 60%. And if you just do that, this whole class, you might end your painting at 100%, but we usually judge the first few steps way too harshly, and then we're just never satisfied. So remember, this is for fun, okay? We're not Picasso yet. We're getting there, but we're not there yet. So you can paint the inner ear if you want. I'm going to go ahead and paint the inner ear. Um, again, it's going to be a different color, but I'm going to add that yellow just so I don't have to go around it right now. It's a lot of work that I'm just going to avoid, okay? But do wrap those ears around the top. You know, you want to wrap your edges. That way you have it nice and complete painting, okay? So remember, if you are brushing back and forth on canvas, and all you see are those little grooves showing up, you know, the little pockets on your canvas, keep in mind that that's a diluted paint problem, or you need to load your brush more. It's one of those. You should be able to brush down your canvas and fill in the space until your paintbrush is out of paint, okay? If that's not working, loosen up that paint a little more, okay? Man, we just painted with like 38 five-year-olds and this is so quiet in here. <laughs> we're all this we're all like, "Whoa." How are you doing, girls? Not not as scary as you thought? Okay, so you don't just want water. Okay, when you dilute your, oh, you're out. Is that your problem? You can make more. Don't be afraid to make more paint, okay? You want to get the water on your brush and then mix it into your paint. Okay. That's how you loosen it. You don't want to just go water. And if you run out of paint, make some more, okay? Thank you. I wasn't clicked for 10 minutes, thanks. No, my camera wasn't clicked. <laughs> it's fine.
we'll never get it right, I don't think. All right, um, <laughs> don't wash your brush when you're done because we're gonna do a little bit of floating before we move on, okay? So once you fill in your giraffe, um, just hold off on washing it, okay? Paige, this little guy, come see if he needs some help. He just said crap, so something went down. All right, remember that neck. If you want to wrap your painting, you're going to have to flip your canvas on its side in order to get the neck that's going around the bottom. And then the top, I mean, I might be a little OCD, but... As everything is like, I just like to do that um, again so you can display it and not have these bright white edges. And I know everybody's going to take this home and just hang it up. So make sure you do that. Okay, I'm going to circle the room and then we're going to go on to our next step. Remember, keep that yellow on your brush. We're going to want that on our brush for the next step, okay? So much concentration tonight. You guys can talk amongst yourselves. I know it's hard to paint and talk, but okay. So I want you to look at my brush real quick. It's got that light yellow on it, and then I'm going to put a corner of it in my dark yellow that I have left. Okay. So ultimately, if I do a brush stroke, it's going to have a corner of dark yellow. Okay. So put a corner on there. And you're going to basically now outline your giraffe with that corner, okay? And all your bristles, not just like this. We're not going to outline like this. We're going to flatten our brush and use all of our bristles, okay? So all around our giraffe, okay? Again, my screen is going to pull this very bright, okay? This is called floating because you're floating one shade into the next, okay? I want you to remember this giraffe is going to be outlined at the end of class. So if you can see pencil mark or you aren't right up against the edge, it's going to have a brown outline, okay? So just keep that in mind. The song, everyone comes quiet, and then they sing the song. This one or anything from Greatest Showman. <laughs> and now it's uh, Encanto. Oh my gosh, just, just don't. Because then the song, it's just there. Every time you close your eyes at night, it won't go away. So again, I'm just, I'm loading my brush with that light yellow and then a corner of the dark yellow every time I need it. And I'm going around my entire giraffe with it. And this is just going to add a really good effect. Now when I go over the eye, I'm just going to go right through it. You can see that because that part's going to be black. So I'm not going to stress about going through that eye a little bit so that I can get my keep my bristle flat, right?
So keep in mind that you're going to have a background too. There's going to be spots on this giraffe. There's going to be highlights. There's going to be outlines. What you're seeing right now is um, just your yellow giraffe. And every mistake on your canvas, you are super aware of, okay? By the end of the class, those steps are hardly going to be seen, okay? Remember not to scrub with your brush. We do that with our toothbrush, okay? If we scrub with our brush, it gives it a bad hair day, and then it doesn't give us the results we want. Okay, I'm going to do kind of this funky, this giraffe has a baggy eye, I mean... I'm just relating to this giraffe a lot, like these dark, dark circles around the eye, like that's me. Okay, so I'm going to do this step. There's no lines for it on your canvas. You can omit it if you're like, no, that's not me. But I'm going to go ahead and do that, okay? And I'm going to use that yellow edge to create it. I'm just going to come up here and kind of do this like U shape, okay? So I'm going to curve around. And then it's just going to kind of match up with the eye, okay? So kind of curve. And then you can kind of just blend it in a little bit. I also kind of like to do a funky eyelid up there. And this is where the eyebrow is going to kind of follow this line. So I'm just going to kind of curve it around and it meets the eye. Again, I'm using the corner of my brush to shape all of this in, okay? All right. <laughs> Let's see how we're doing. And again, that's a step that if you don't love it, you don't have to do that particular step. But it is a fun detail at the end of class. You'll kind of see it. And you can do a more squiggly um eyebrow if you want or a baggier eye it's up to you <laughs> do it all right so let's get those giraffes finished up i'm about ready to go to the background okay so you'll notice that I keep a pretty steady pace. That's for a few reasons. Number one, I got to make sure my youngest artists in the room don't get bored and sloppy. But also, I got to move you guys along. Otherwise, your perfectionist minds will take over and we'll be here all night. Okay? Yeah, I am. I'm <laughs> looking right at you. <laughs> okay, so maybe another minute at the most and then we'll move on. Okay? That's not to rush you. Um, like I said, we're going to paint at different paces. So, you know, at any time, if you're like, I'm just going to do this at my pace, that's totally fine. Okay. If you're done with the steps I've just did, you can wash your brush and give it a good wash. Okay. Um, cause we're going to use the same brush for our background and we want to make sure the yellow is out of our brush. Okay. On this number, mm -hmm. okay. Emma, and so what can I do to help with the little gal with you? Okay, 
this day in this last class? Do you want me to fold five? Do you want me to fold paper towels? What can I do? Okay. Looks awesome, ladies. Are you omitting the eye parts? The little baggy eye and stuff? Yeah, that's cool. I That's fine. You're young and beautiful and your eyes aren't baggy like mine. Okay. Um, I was wondering if I could do a different background menu. Yeah, absolutely. If you have a color on your plate that you like, you can use that. Or you can talk to Miss Paige and she can help you. Okay. Did you talk to her, or do you have one on your plate you want to use? Well, no. I wanted to use a dark green. Okay. Ms. Paige, she has a question. Yep, yeah, Miss Paige will help you, okay? Okay. We are going to do our background now. That's basically everything around our giraffe. So when we're done with this step, the last white thing on our canvas should be our eye, okay? Or the, if you didn't paint in the inner ear, that'll be white too, okay? But everything around your giraffe, okay? So I'm going to wash my brush really good. If your water isn't turning color, you're not washing it well enough, okay? So you want to rinse it really good, okay? I'm going to do a turquoise background, but I want it much lighter than this turquoise right here. So I'm going to get a big scoop of white. And I'm going to mix together, okay? Now you can save the turquoise and do turquoise spots in a pink background and a, or a purple background. You've got options, okay? But I'm going to give my turquoise a rough mix. And then I'm going to fill in the space around my giraffe, okay? Remember, we don't want to scrub. We want to be gentle with our brush up and down stroke. This will also help you just fill it in and not have crazy um, directionality of your brush is what they call it. When you get close to your giraffe, you can slow down, of course. I did the white to my turquoise, but then I regretted it. So I would go because <laughs> I used all the white in the end. Okay. So learn from me. I mean, I'm just living my best life up here. Either way, we'll definitely need more white through this class. It's just white is that we just use a ton. But when you get close to your giraffe, if you'll fan out your brush like this, you can get a nice edge. Okay, so press all your bristles down, pushing the paint to the edge of your brush, and then follow that line, and you'll get a nice clean edge. Now remember, we're outlining this guy, so don't um, panic too much if you're not right up against the giraffe, or maybe you can still see pencil mark. That's fine. If you have any yellow in your brush, you're going to have a really pretty green background. Maybe you did that on purpose, maybe not, but just roll with it. Or just stop what you're doing and wash out your brush. Remember to wrap your canvas, okay? So all your edges are going to be nice and turquoise or whatever your background color of choice. I'm a turquoise girl myself. I probably use a little too much here, but it's just that color that goes with a lot of things.
Now, when you get in spots of your giraffe that you think, or your background that you feel like you can't get to because your brush is too big, go from the flat to the toe. So this is the flat. If I paint like this, that's the flat. If I point my brush like this to my, if my hand's my canvas, that's the toe, like a ballerina toe. And then you can get into smaller areas, okay? And again, get as close as you can to your giraffe. If there's a little bit of white um, or pencil mark, it's okay because we're going to outline. Everybody loves that. It's the best part. It's not. I'm teasing. So if you look up at my original piece, you can see there's like a white, right? That goes around the giraffe. You see that? It's almost like a halo all the way around the giraffe. Before I wash my background out, I just put some white on the corner of it and I start to go around close to my giraffe. And it just brightens up that area close to the giraffe and it draws attention to it which is good because the giraffe is the star of the show here. This is another one of those steps that some artists just like to omit. That's fine. I always want to brighten up my background. If you're using a dark color though and you want a dark background, um, don't do this step because this will lighten up your background quite a bit. Hey. Anytime something comes on a little too strong, just keep brushing back and forth. Blend it right back into your background. Hey, so, <laughs> well, I, I like to go faster so I can come check on everybody. Okay, so you don't have to keep up with me. Use water. Put water in that paint and mix it around. Um, I don't remember what I was going to say. You guys are doing great. <laughs> Paper towel duty. Mm -hmm. It would be awesome if we could fill a box, okay? So like this box, okay? Yeah. 
just so that we have a place to put them after that's full because when we we're gonna do like 500 kits we're gonna need like 500 paper towels okay bless us all everybody will need more white so i don't know if you want to do that on your down thing give them you know because mm -hmm. we're going to start going into steps where they're going to need more white so mm -hmm. Okay, just try and give them two pumps somewhere, okay? Even if they're separate, just give it to them somewhere. All right, your backgrounds are looking awesome. Those who are on backgrounds are doing awesome. <laughs> She's like, I'm not even making eye contact. <laughs> the music went off right when you were like that we were having this awkward conversation i think a kid tried to oh i wonder if the speaker <laughs> oh. we already heard that song Okay, I'm going to give you another minute and then we're going to move on, okay? All right, when you're done with your background, wash that big brush really good and just set it aside. We're not going to go back to that big brush probably tonight, so we might. I don't know. I might change my mind. It might get crazy. Do you need more paint? Yeah. Here, I just grabbed this plate full of it. I'll give you all of it. How about that? <laughs> yeah, you should be good. Um, Yeah, give your brush a really good wash once you're done with your background. And we're going to paint the inside of our giraffe's ear. That's our next step. Okay. 
Okay, so you may have noticed that on the left ear, we can see the opening, okay? On the right ear, it's flipped the other direction. Okay, so I'm gonna switch to my little red handle brush, okay? And I'm gonna mix some of my brown and yellow together. And some white, okay? Brown, yellow, and white. So we're kind of just making this kind of muddy yellow color. If you want it to lean more towards the browns, add more brown. If you want it to lean more towards the yellows, add more yellow, okay? And then I'm just gonna fill it in. What's, what's shown of my ear anyway? I'm working around this board here. It's not very much of my ear. No, this is the inner ear color. This isn't my spot color. It can be your spot color. Who asked me that? Yeah, this is the inside of the left ear. Okay. So I mixed brown, yellow, and some white. And I painted the inside of that ear. Okay. Autumn, I've got a hand over here. All right. While you guys are doing that ear, we're going to talk a little bit about our spots, okay? Okay, so some of the spots are traced on there for you. Basically, the big ones are. You can see, like, towards the top of the giraffe's head, there's a lot left to your own imagination, okay? I snuck in hearts because hashtag Valentine's Day. Um, and I've got three colors. I've got a light pink, a dark pink, and then I've made this plum color with purple and pink mixed together. Okay. So if you can see that, I've got my dark pink, my lighter pink, and my plum color. Okay. So that's what I'm going to do. But remember, this is your giraffe. So if you're like, I want all plum spots. That's totally fine. Or maybe you want only two colors. So that's fine too. Okay. Maybe you want to pull in some turquoise onto your giraffe and do turquoise spots. You can do whatever you want. Okay. Um, and the choice of what spots, what color is just sort of left up to you too. You can follow exactly along with me or you can just have fun with it. Okay. But what we're going to do is we're going to pick our first color and then paint all of the spots that we want that color. And then we'll go to our next color and so on and so forth. Okay. We're going to do all of our spots with our red handle brush. Okay. Um, if you want to use your bigger brush for some of them, I'm totally okay with that. I suggest that you don't use your detail brush for them, okay, because it will take you forever. And you'll have a lot of paint stroke marks in your spots, okay? A lot of times we think it'll help us to use um, a small brush, and it, it actually doesn't. Okay, so I'm going to start with my darkest pink spots first, okay? Again, you can roll right with me on it. Or you can do your own thing. So for my darkest pink, I'm still going to add some white. Okay. It's just going to be a darker pink than my lighter, lighter pink. Yep, that's confusing. All right. So I'm going to mix that together until I have a pink that I like. Okay. And then all of the spots that I want that shade are going to be painted in right now, okay? So I want to mix enough that I can do that. And I think Paige has gone around and given you guys more white. Again, you're going to use a lot of white, so. Okay, so 
Here we go. My first dark pink spot is this one right here along the edge. So this one is already in there for you. Again, get up as close as you can to the edge of your giraffe, but keep in mind we're outlining the giraffe. Okay, I can't say that enough. This giraffe is going to be outlined, okay? So that's a dark one. This one right here is also a dark one. Again, I'll say it again. You can follow along right with me or go rogue and do your own thing. It does not offend me at all. I actually love the different ideas and creativity that happens in the room, so totally do it. I'm choosing right now which ones are going to be my dark pink color, and I'm putting them in. Right now, I'm just painting the ones that exist with an outline, okay? I'm going to um, add some extra ones. Once I get all the ones that are already traced on my canvas, Sometimes these spots can grow, so just keep that in mind. It happens. So I've got this little oval spot down here that I'm going to add. So you'll start seeing um, I you're going to see some spots show up, okay, that aren't traced on your canvas. Gonna sneak in a little heart spot there. And the fun thing about these spots is they can just be any silly shape you want. And you can totally sneak in hearts anywhere you want. I'm obviously a big fan of that. Just have fun with the spots. And all of us are going to have kind of a different um, amount of space left to use. Um, just based on how big our spots are or, you know, 
how big the eye is, the bag under the eye, okay? So everyone's gonna kind of have a different amount of space to work with. So you might feel like, oh, I can't add one there. Well, that's fine. You might not have the space to add it, okay? Depending on the shade of your spots too, um, if you want to go back and start at the beginning, the first spot, and do another layer real quick, you can do that. If you're doing really dark spots, you might need another layer. Unless it's black. You won't need another layer if it's black. But that's why we like to add some white because it, adds, it helps with the coverage. Okay, so now I'm going to go with my lighter pink spot. Okay, so I'm going to lighten my pink even more. So I didn't even need to wash my brush. I'm just going to use the paint on there. And do a really light pink here, okay? And then I'll do all of my light pink spots, okay? Do you ladies have a question for me? I haven't done plum yet, mm -mm. but it's pink and purple. <laughs> She's like, I need plum stat. Yeah, so I'm just doing, I'm picking one color of spot and doing all of that before I move to another color. So plum is the last color for me. Keep in mind my 60% rule as you go, okay? It's going to save you. So I'm adding, I'm adding spots to fill in space, okay? So you can add exactly where and, and the shapes that I do. Or some of you may just feel like your giraffe doesn't need the extra ones. This ear up here has got spots on it. Let your brush do the work. Press and pull on it.
Yeah, don't worry about your edges. You'll be surprised at what an outline will do for you. It'll clean those up really quick. For my lighter pink spots, I'm going to dip the corner of my brush in that darker pink and almost just do the same effect I did with my giraffe when I gave it that floated edge. This is an optional step. I just like to help this lighter spot pop a little bit. So I'm gonna just load with the light, put a little dark on one corner. I'm just putting the dark pink on the edge of my brush yeah, just to help them pop because they're a little too, I, I want them to pop a little more for me. That's an optional step for you. The same thing we did around the giraffe with the dark yellow. And I'll focus more on my bigger spots, the little ones that are hard to go around. I don't know. Do you guys want to listen to this song again? Yeah, I don't either. My, my music stopped and then I... If you don't want to outline it this way, you can also just get your detail brush and outline it if you want to do it that way. If you feel like it needs the pop, but you don't like this technique. All right, how are we doing, guys? We okay, we breathe in. Are we feeling overwhelmed? <laughs> Yeah, high contrast is always best. There's my dark pink and there's my light pink, okay? All right, so I don't have to wash my brush to go to my plum color, okay? I'm just going to add plum to my pie, or not plum, purple, over here to all my other pink piles here. And just start mixing until I get that nice plum color that I want. So purple and pink, and you can add um, white if you want to lighten it, okay? And this is the color you're going to need two coats on these spots if you're doing the plum. 
because it's going to battle with the yellow. Okay, so keep that in mind. So after you get your first, all of your plum spots filled in, just go back to your first spot and then do another layer on all of them. You can see that because it's such a dark color, um, your back, your um, yellow is coming up a lot more. So that's why we have to do two coats. But if you just um, put your spots in and then go back to your first spot and fill them in in order that you did them, they'll be dry enough for you to do another layer. Are you a nail technician? Oh, okay. <laughs> You're like, that's a great nail color. Okay, again, just add spots where you want to. And remember, every giraffe is different, okay? <laughs> Do you have an inner turquoise ear? <laughs> that makes sense. You're like, that's got to be, that's, that ear's got to have a hole through it. That. Paint it white. Paint it white first. Okay. And the, yep. Paint it white and then let it dry. <laughs> She's like, my, something's different. <laughs> only only positive things about your art Yeah. 
So I'm going to go through now and do a second layer of that dark plum on each spot. Give it some good coverage. did my own thing. I don't know why. <laughs> it It is. It's purple. I don't know what it is with purple, but everyone's always like, no, I don't have purple. I'm like, yeah, you do. They're all, no, I don't. I'm sorry, but that's, that's purple. Watch it be blue. <laughs> one of these days it's gonna happen you kind of have to put some white in it and then the purple just pops I know this is kind of tedious especially for my little artist okay just get your spots in there And don't um, don't be too critical about the shape. The biggest thing is you don't want to repeat the shape, okay? Because a lot of times we'll just naturally start making a pattern, and then every time our brush hits the canvas, not even knowing it, we're creating the same shape over and over, and then we stand back and we're like, whoa, that's, they're all the same. So kind of try and think you know, what can I do different this time? I want this one to be a heart. I want this one to be a peanut. I want this one just to be a squiggly circle. I want this one to be like an avocado shape. So just whatever makes sense in your mind, just do that, do that. Okay. I'm going to see how everyone's spots are coming along. It's got a long neck. It's a giraffe. It just like the spots. It's somebody. They all look like giraffes. Oh, <laughs> this cup. it's this low budget. Oh, you girls are, we got smiley faces and sad faces. Wow. All the creativity happening. My traps and pain. Oh, these are so pretty. Look at these colors. You guys are awesome. How are you doing, Shay? Eh, what does that mean? It means you're being hard on yourself. That's what that means.
Okay, we are going to move on. Most of my floor is done with spots. All right, let's outline this. Well, let's paint in the black of the eye first so it can dry for our highlight, okay? So just use your little red brush again to paint in the black portion of the eye, okay? So that's just the circle in here. Let's just get that filled in because we want this to dry. Okay, so just fill that part in and I don't want these songs. There we go. When it restarts because I, I don't know, I just have problems. Okay, <laughs> anyway, fill the black portion of the eye in and then we are going to outline our giraffe. Okay, that's your little brush. You wanna do it with brown paint, but we are gonna add a little bit of yellow to it and a little touch of white just for the sake of coverage, okay? So you can see it's just a little lighter brown, okay? This is your tiniest brush and we are going to dilute that paint. I'm gonna dip it in water, mix the water into my brown because I want that melted ice cream, especially when I'm about to outline. That's like the biggest thing, okay? Yep, if you um, don't have diluted paint when you go to outline, it is going to be really difficult to outline, okay? So let's dilute that paint really good. Just mix the water into your paint really gently with your brush, okay? The first thing I'm gonna do is the inner part of my ear. Okay, so just outline the inner portion of your ear. Now as I do the ears, I'm gonna come into my giraffe a little bit Okay, you can see I just come in just a little bit. That's indicating foreground and background, what parts of my giraffe are in the front, what's in the back. Okay, those little And then that right ear is in the back. So I take the line right across that ear to indicate that that ear is in the background, okay? I did some white. That's just gonna help with coverage, yeah. So come all the way around your giraffe, clean up your edge, and also any pencil mark. This is your opportunity to do that too, okay? 
and that chin. Make sure you do a line around that jawline and chin. Come up into the giraffe so you can separate that. So remember, if you can't get a good stroke in with your brush, then you probably need to dilute your paint a little more, okay? If it's too much water, you're going to drip down your canvas or it's just going to be so thin. So you've got to kind of find that happy medium and that's just practice, okay? This is your opportunity to make your giraffe super happy to be here. And do a nice smile. Did you see that I just connected it to that upper lip? My giraffe is happy as can be, okay? We need to put an eyebrow and this giraffe just has a little thin one to work with here. Okay. And I'm going to do a nostril. See how I just kind of lightly touch my canvas, then I press on my bristles, then I pull away from my canvas, okay? And then I'm gonna round the top. Use your brush to guide you in these shapes. Whew! That's a tricky thing to do, friends. Outlining is tricky. We do our best, okay? That's all we can do is our best. If you're done with your outline, start diluting your black paint so we can do some eye details, okay? We gotta put lashes on this girl. Okay, so I'm going to outline the eye in black paint, okay? Give this All right, and this is when you can do some fun lashes, and I like to just really give her some lashes. All right. I'm gonna come check on you. That was a lot, I know. I know, how are we feeling? Stressed out? Are we feeling stressed out?
hand right there. It's so cute. I love what you did. Need a wipey. Oh, yeah. Um, Autumn, will you bring a wipey over here? Put that in there. With these teeny ones, if you want to use your little brush to shape it, that's fine. Okay. Um, I just don't like the little kids to think they can do the whole thing with a little sure. brush. But if yeah. you want to shape it with your little one, you can. Okay. I just wouldn't try and fill in big spaces with it. Yeah. These are so much fun. We've got so many different ones. I love it. Younger artists that are really behind. So I want you to see if you can help catch them up. Ask if it's okay. If they're like, no, I'm good. That's fine. But, um, to see like particularly those two over there's like three right in that little area that are like just on spots so just say like do you guys want help catching up are you okay i'll probably say they're okay but just ask all right we've got to do some highlights and sign our name which is crazy so i think <laughs> I know. Time flies when you're having fun. Right, Melody? <laughs> yeah, just make sure your paint is watered down, remember? Mix water into your black. That way it thins it out, and then it'll give you a good flick. Girls, this is for your friend that couldn't come. It's got the paint and stuff for you to take home to work, okay? All right, I'll show you. Remember I said we weren't going to use our big brush again? I lied. We're going to use our big brush. So get it wet in your clean water, okay? Clean water. And then I'm just going to drag my fingers down it, getting some of the water out but not all of it, okay? And I want that damp brush for my highlights, okay? I'm gonna dip my damp brush, a corner of it, in some white paint, okay? And then I'm gonna take that corner and highlight everything I want highlighted, okay? So the first thing I'm gonna highlight is this baggy eye because it needs some happiness. So I'm gonna come down here and brighten that up, okay? Now this is um, white on yellow, so it's gonna be a little tricky and it's gonna be deceiving for you in some areas, but just kind of put some white where I am putting some white. I'm gonna highlight the roof there. I wanna highlight the up above the lip just kind of bring in some white there put some white in the ear so anytime your brush is feeling dry just add some water to it and kind of press the water out like I did earlier, just kind of wring it out a little bit. You want that moisture in your brush. You have a sad giraffe. All right, we're going to highlight the spots. Okay, so this will, you'll be able to see this a little more. And you can do this with your smallest brush if you want. We're just going to add some light here, okay? 
I might switch brushes. I don't like how thick it was in my spot. Your spot is a little bit bigger than mine, though, because your giraffe is bigger. You're on a bigger surface. So you might want to stick with your big flat. Whatever brush you use, just make sure it's damp with some white on it, okay? And we're just going to go through and light, give light to our spots. And this will really brighten up your painting. I'll show you this one in the camera because it's not wet, so it's not shiny. You can see my spots. You brighten it up with some white, okay? That's what we're doing. So you don't have to go around every spot. You're just adding light in every spot, okay? So don't feel like the point is to outline every spot in white. You're just brightening it up. And some of the highlights will come off stronger than others. And that's fine too. Just remember, you can have a whiteout situation just as bad as you can a blackout. So if it does get a little too bright on you, go back to your spot color and just kind of bring it back a little bit. Remember, as soon as your brush gets kind of dried out, you want to add some water to it. Some of the little spots, I just kind of do a dash of white in it, just kind of bring it to life. <laughs> Not sure yet. Undecided. Okay, so get your get your highlights in. Remember you're just adding a touch of white, brighten up the spots. It gives it a little personality too. Make sure you get that inner ear highlighted too. There we go. I'm going to get my teeny brush and just put a little white highlight in the nose. So just a little white mark with my smallest brush. <laughs> Always paint what you wish you had. That's what I do. I'm like, get it. 
All right, I'm gonna use the bottom of my biggest brush to dot in the reflection of light in the eyes. And this is when your giraffe is just gonna come to life. Just like that. My favorite part is always the reflection in the eyes because it wakes up your painting. All right, friends. Some of us are there, some of us aren't, but if you are, go ahead and sign your name. It is time for that step for some of us. Pick a color on your plate. Sign your name however your heart desires. That tells the world that you're proud of your painting and you should be. You guys, I'm going to come walk around and help you guys finish. If you're all done, go ahead and put your aprons away for me. Um, some of you have parents in the studio. Um, if you're ready to go, then you can just put your apron away and take your painting home. If you don't see your parents in the studio, but you're done, please just hang out in here unless you've been instructed otherwise. That's a busy street, so I don't want anyone to get hurt, okay? Thank you for painting with me. I'm gonna come see how we're doing. I hope you're proud of yourself. And if you get a chance, look around you. There are some really fun giraffes in here tonight, okay? While I'm walking around, if you have any questions for me, just grab me as I come by, okay? I, so I used this, but I mixed, yeah, you want to dilute it, but I also mixed some yellow and a little bit of white in it, just okay. because if you did just that brown, it's really, okay. the white will help with coverage, okay? Do you want this, just in case? <laughs> well, I stole another artist palette <laughs> that didn't show up. I, I try and use it. in this life. No, you're good. Oh, that was my bad. Okay.